hi guys uh, this is a tech guru and um, i'm back with my another tutorial and uh, this tutorial will be on how to create a industrial robot in creo okay and how to animate that robot okay using a slot motor okay so i have something here uh, let me go here and then go to mechanism okay and then uh, what i'll show you is i will show you how this has been done okay so i'll just open it this close this all okay hide okay and then run it this is exactly what we will be trying to do today okay so we will see how to create something like this so that uh, you people will be familiar with uh, you become you people will become familiar with slot motor we have seen many servo motors for everything we will be using servo motor only but for we will be applying that for slot slot mechanism okay so let's start now okay so what we will do is first we will create a new assembly and we will say it as robot okay and then we'll go here don't save and pick our assembly mmsks okay and then in this what we will do is we will not be applying any motor or servo motor we will directly go on adding it robot base okay and this will be as fix i want it fixed not uh, any other way then i'll go here and then say trace curve i want the trace curve to also be in default this is the trace curve which i have created okay so which i will be using for uh, tracing the curve using slot mechanism then i'll go here and say uh, what we can say is robot assembly robot base is done and this one okay here what we will do is we will use pin okay go here we'll use pin and then we'll use this axis and we'll use this axis okay is there the axis too many axis here this axis then we'll use this base and this base okay this is done then we'll go for mid arm okay so this is our mid arm so this will also be under pin go here pick this and then go here and pick this okay and then pick this with this it's done then we'll go for the final arm robot arm okay say yes here go here and then we'll say end arm okay uh, for this end arm also we will be using pin only okay so we'll pick this and then we'll pick this axis okay then we'll go and pick this inside portion and then we'll pick this portion there it is so our uh, robot assembly is ready now what we are going to do is we are going to hide all the layers okay then then most important thing what we will be doing is we'll go to mechanism okay now what we have to do is end arm edit definition okay after pin is done go here pick slot okay then pick this point this point with this one then slot pick this okay and set that as zero it comes and sits here no we 
didn't sit here correctly why what is the reason we will see that what we will do is I will go here drag it here so we will change it okay go here then trace curve remove this and tape put it here it comes still there itself and then make it 500 let me see it comes correctly but we need zero okay so zero is here enable it correct now it's correct okay so this is how we have done now what we will do is we will add motor to this go to servo motors go here position okay then change it to velocity make it 240 pick the slot okay just say apply and where you are going to apply it we are going to apply it to slot okay apply okay now go to analysis say it as 68 choose position then say okay okay then go here say run so what you see here is something wrong so where did we go wrong i will tell you where where we want went wrong okay what happens is we have to cancel this don't save robot edit definition then if when we go here delete this say default okay then delete this then say fix your entire assembly comes correct now because then go to mechanism then say run now it comes correctly can you see that see this kind of slot motors are used in case of robots which are used in laser cutting operations okay so what we do is in laser cutting operation mechanisms we create a, a trace curve for the robots okay so that the robots will trace that curve and that trace curve will be in turn used to create a robotic mechanism or a robotic program that robotic program is refed into the robot memory and that robot will trace the curve as per the uh, trace curve that has been generated over here okay so this is a short and uh, sweet uh, tutorial on uh, how to use a slot, a slot curve okay and then apply a servo motor to it and then run a robot mechanism okay uh, thank you guys that's a very small one hope you like it okay thank you very much